Rest is really up to you. Whoa, 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 whoa. The cops are somewhere right here. Oh, shoot. All right, y'all can pass me, bro. I ain't trying to do that. Thank you. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another Let's Go to Work episode. You guys already know what time it is, man. It felt good to be back, and we are back with our regular schedule as we're going to try our best to do the actual job. I know we've been trying to get the job get things done. Yes, we had enough sleep so far. Actually, I might have to sleep some more, but you know, we got to go to work. We have to go to work right now. Oh, shoot. Yo, yo, look at that last one. Man, I got to go to work. I got to go to work. <laughs> what a way to start our episode. But um, I check in by the office real quick. See what's going on, but I really did just have to go to the office and oh, I don't even have gas in this. Yeah, let's stop at the gas station. Um, which gas station is the closest to us right now? We got one right over here. Yo, I'll be forgetting about yo. I'm always forgetting about this gas station over here. Any cops? As long as there's no cops, I can actually go. And also, I'm going to be working on updating this graphic. I mean, this is cool and all, but I think it could be better. It can definitely be better. But um, yeah, so far, I've been enjoying. Let's go to work. I've been enjoying and also be on the lookout for some new series, of course, that we got coming you guys way. And definitely a big shout out to Veloce, man. My number one sponsor, of course. They always they always got my back, man. But right now, we're just setting up. Oh. I didn't even see I had my turning signal. So we just filling up the tank. Um are they shooting? Yo. Yo, they about to fight. Yeah, they about to fight, bro. Oh got him. Got yo, I'ma just mind my business. I gotta go. I did get some chicken though. Um let me see. Oh, don't tell me I don't have my chicken anymore. What happened to my inventory? No. All right. I got to go get some chicken. Look, that cop was back there. So we're going to work. I have to go get my chicken and all. <laughs> she say no kidding. Ah, oh, they fighting in the store, bro. Bro, I'm just here to get some chicken real quick, man. They fighting in a store, man. Man, that's how I mean. I remember being like that in Brooklyn sometimes. Bro, they fighting in the Chinese spot. I'm gonna still get my food. I don't care what you was doing. Like, I know the um the police about to get here, but I'm I'm gonna get my chicken, bro. Like, let's get a bucket of chicken. No, let's save an inventory. Yeah, these dudes fighting back here, bro. All right, let's get two buckets. Let's get a second bucket. This is for inventory. Oh, oh, my dude glitching on the window. My dude is glitching. Yo. All right, I'm good on food for now. Yo, my dude's glitching, yo. Hey, where you from, homie? What's up? What's up, man? I got no business with you. Good night, old friend. All right, let's get out of here. Did we pick up something? I don't know. All right, time for our job, man. Let's go to work. That guy was glitching over there, man. Oh. Talking about that, I need to get that insurance fix. See no cops. And hey, we gotta go to work, man. All right, so uh, we can actually pass by the office real quick. At least to show you guys what it looks like when you have the job, and you do have the option to leave the job too, which is pretty cool, I think. Like we, we like, man, I, I want to quit, man, because I find something else. Oh shoot! Oh shoot, bro! Why did I think he was after me, bro? All right, let's take off the hazard. Hey, bro, you want to race? Nice car, man. Oh shoot! Almost crashed into that Porsche. You wanna race, bro? Come on, man. Race to the next light. Come on, man. 
Oh, sh ah, you turn. Come on. Oh, oh, you still come. Oh, he's freaking out, bro. All right. Anyway, I'm just passing by the office real quick. Oh, none of my business. You know, sometimes minding your business could take you a long way, bro. <laughs> For real. All right. Let's lock this and let's go. All right, I just want to show you guys what it looks like right now, and uh, it's crazy to be playing as me, bro. I remember I had a fro like that, and what? That was like middle school going into high school. <laughs> when we all thought we could get braids like Ja Ru and stuff. <laughs> that was crazy. That was a crazy time, bro. Or get half a braid done, thinking like, bro. All right, so we already know the job requirement, re job, and you can actually leave the job. That is if you want to. What's up, man? You good? Let's get out of here. So we're not working in the office. We are, you know, we starting. We are foot soldiers. We starting from uh, delivering, which is one thing that I, I mean I did enjoy. It. Just that it gets too busy, bro. I did enjoy delivering like for a while until I realized how busy it get. Oh shoot, the police are over there. I'm just mind my business. Let's keep moving. All right, so we're going over there to uh, well, well, oh shoot, but we're on that side of town, man. We're on that side of town. Bro, I hope they don't make me deliver on that side today. <laughs> it's my first day on the job. Talking about that. Um, if you guys know Coney Island, yes, I used to deliver in Coney Island. I'm talking about like I had to get in, in um, inside all the buildings. It doesn't matter. There was there's like a private area in Coney Island, and there's also you know the bad part of Coney Island. So it was, man, I got a chance to know Coney Island though. I got a chance to know everywhere in Coney Island, every building. I've been in. Almost everything. That was my route. All right, so I see there was a. Oh shoot! Um, I should be able to park over there at least. Come on, man. I think you should work. Thank you. All right, so I got a clock in. Um, I don't want to block the way. Yeah, you know, at work you always find that spot that become yours after a while. You're like, yeah, that's that's my spot, bro. Nobody can take this. All right. All right. We're good right here. And now it's time to start working. Uh, I think we got to clock in first. At least I don't have to wear a uniform. Shoot. Start your shift into the vehicle. All right. Bro, this is lit. This is lit. Now, if you want to do this yourself, this is available. At um on the Ellie Revo mod. This is a script, of course. And uh yeah, man. If you download Ellie Revo and you want to do this job, let's go, man. I feel like Ellie Revo have become like what I've been working on for years. And uh yeah, man, this thing is on point, if you ask me. Alright, head to the delivery location. Alright, we got our first remember we can't pass through that way, so we're gonna try to avoid that. No, actually, um, that dealership, that dealership is a problem. So I'm not going that way. Yeah, leaving the warehouse. I remember being like that because you have to just go. Let me, come on. I'm trying to. Oh, that broke my light, bro. All right. I'm gonna have to go around. It's crazy that I know exactly what the game crashed, so we're gonna avoid that. All right, we on our FedEx first day, man. Well, this thing glitch when it wants to sometime, man. I sure you guys can see that. I think it's a TV doing that. I don't think it's doing that on the video too. We should be good. I ain't, I ain't see no cops. All right, it looks like I'm delivering. Oh, I'm delivering around these areas. Okay. Okay. All right, we got to pick up a delivery. I mean, we got to drop off a delivery. And uh, talk about story time, man. I remember starting this job like I had to wake up at least by four thirty, five o'clock. And uh, you know, this job was referred to me by um 
by a friend. And then when you got it right, when you get this job, what happened is you have to go through a training, a training, meaning they want to they want to make sure you know how to drive these trucks. And uh, after that training, I remember, I, I mean, I didn't do FedEx grind, I did FedEx home delivery. So FedEx home delivery is more like private in a way is more like a bunch of people that own a bunch of trucks, meaning each person on a route, like let's say me, right? I own a route and uh, I'm paying a driver just to drive that route. And also anything happen, I have to pay for it. <laughs> so basically FedEx don't have to pay for it unless like it's something serious, which is what I kind of like got it. I mean, I didn't get in trouble. It was the person that got hired with me, like my help, bro. My help almost got me fired, bro. And uh, yeah, it happens. But um, as you finish uh, the process of bro, this look amazing. If you finish the process of you know learning how to drive, drive around a bunch of cones is usually they usually trying to get a, a, a bunch of people in a team or whatever. Not team, but you, all you guys are against each other. But it's about like who can actually pass the test, the driving test, and then keep the job. You know the background screening and all that. And then once uh, that clear, bro, you get the keys and you have to load the truck and a scanner. And uh, the rest is really up to you. Whoa, 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 whoa. The cops are somewhere right here. Oh, shoot. All right, y'all can pass me, bro. I ain't trying to do that. Thank you. Don't no, nobody got time for that. All right, so. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, that was my delivery. That was my delivery. Oh, bro. I was trying to get away from the cops. That was my delivery. All right, so what do I do? All right, I am at the delivery. Do I have to just get it? Oh, pick up the box, bro. This is lit. This is lit. Yo, this bring back some memories, man. <laughs> FedEx days. Wow. All right. Dropping off the delivery. Oh, this is cool. This is cool. All right. So now next delivery, bro. Oh, this is better than the delivery job that I was doing before. Way better. All right. We got another delivery that way. And one thing that I used to hate about delivering is um, not being able to map out a route, bro. I mean, you can, but it was never that accurate. Sometimes I find myself delivering in one location and I could have delivered the next box to the next block instead of going around, bro. It used to be the worst. And sometimes, you know, over time you get used to it. And sometimes, you know what I would do? And that's what kept me fit for so long, too. Like, I didn't even have, like, working for FedEx, I didn't even have to hit the gym, bro. I was in the gym every day. Because it's like, as soon as I get to my location, bro, I just, uh, I just drop off the truck in one block. I mean, I, that was the smart way for me. Uh, like drop off the the truck at one block and then have a Charlie so I can actually just walk around the block. But now most people used to be scared because they think they deliver they they package is gonna get stolen. But uh, I was I was that guy like try me try me if you want to. Yo look at that look at that box look how we holding the box this is realistic bro. Yes sir all right we delivering this box yeah I was that guy bro try me if you want to bro. I don't care. I have all these box. I will fight you on these streets. <laughs> I will fight you on these streets. I was ready and I was young too. So I was ready for whatever, man. And that's how I used to get a chance to finish my route early because uh, once you finish with your route, bro, that's it. It's over until next, the next day. Once your truck is empty, which was rarely for me because sometimes you miss you miss. Um, Sometimes you will be knocking at somebody's door and they not home. That used to be the worst. I mean, believe it or not. It's is not the best thing for when it comes to um I I don't know if all, all the drivers feel like that but I used to hate like when I get to a place and nobody's there and they it, it's required to sign that used to be the worst and you're like man I can't even leave this package on the door and you know as I got to know my route I know who like I could leave the package for and who I um, whether I need a signature or not like you get you you kind of build a trust over time with those people, which I thought was pretty cool, man. That's what I'm saying. Like until you do the job, man, you don't know, you don't know you you don't know. <laughs> and I kind of built like over years of working for them. 
I kind of build a trust with like the customers that they had. Like I remember this uh, business whenever they get deliveries, bro. I'm up there. I already know where to drop it off at, and I'm good, bro. I'm good for the day. Oh, come on, come on. You see me? You see it? Like deliveries like that? Did you see like that was that was something that used to happen to me all the time? So, you know I'm gonna pull in the driveway. Oh shoot, bro. Bro, me wilding, yo. Yeah, I'm put. I'm pulling in the driveway was my best bet right now. Imagine blocking that guy. All right, we got this delivery right here. It's crazy. I'm using my face, and I used to do this job, bro. If you if you ever live in Coney Island back when I was working there, bro, I'll probably deliver one of your package. <laughs> like for real. All right. I get point for delivering any package. How you doing, miss? Hey, what's up, babe? Hola. All right. Um. Yeah, and I, man, the only the only time, just like I told you guys last time, is uh, driving around holidays, Valentine's Day, it's like you know. Something like that, but other than that, man, it was pretty cool, man. It took my time. You know why I even um I did kind of fall in love with this job? It's I know it's tough, especially after a breakup, bro. I had just broke up with my ex. I mean, not I. She broke up with me, or whatever the case was. And uh, it was time to move on, man. And that was the best job to move on. <laughs> it's just keeping it real with you guys. That was the best job ever to move on, bro, because it kept me busy. Oh, shoot. I don't want to hit your Ferrari, bro. It kept me so busy to the point where I didn't have time to really think about like, you know, like a hey, relationship or whatever the case was. And I was focused and uh, this was one of the job that like kind of kept me going as I was finishing school. Because I remember working um, there. That was kind of like my break for school. Cause man, you know the toughest part is when you take a break from school. It's really hard to go back, especially when you're in college and stuff like that. So um, yeah, it took me a while. Made some good, made some good money. Uh, Build some good relationship as far as like friends and stuff like that. People you could learn from, and uh, yeah, man, the experience. I mean, as part of life, it matters so much, man. Just get your experience for real, and enjoy, enjoy your life, bro. I'm telling you. Right now, let's make this delivery. There you go. But we gotta work throughout the whole day, though. Oh, actually, you know what? Let me do this. Let me let the time go, bro. So he might not let me. Like we only been what working for twenty minutes. I gotta let the time go, bro. You never know what's gonna happen. It probably would make me work till like that four o'clock. I mean, that's a lot of deliveries. You see that we just came from that block. Why I couldn't get a delivery over there? Why can't just just pass by? I don't know. I feel like this the way the game made it is almost like the real life. Like you have to follow. You have to make your own map. And sometimes like I don't have the time. So when you get there early in the morning, you load up your truck. I'm talking about like your truck is full. Oh, talking about that, I saw the truck was looking empty. Um, one thing that I I usually use is mania. So let's use Mania to make sure that you guys can actually see like all right, vehicle mod and I'm pretty sure it might be components. Yeah, we got some packages back here, bro. What is that? Are you going to stay behind me, bro? OK. I don't know if that's more packages because we should have plenty of packages. That's the front plate. That's oh, yep. Yeah, I remember those. But I used to fit everything in there, bro. I used to fit everything like I'm talking about, like when it comes to loading up my truck in the morning, got to make sure everything fits. And uh, as crazy as it sound, um, <laughs> when it comes to like, I don't know if all delivery guys does it. Just being real with you, we our bathroom was a bottle, a bottle of water on the go, on the go, like for real. That was straight up. That was my bathroom for a while because it's like you you don't want to stop. And sometimes, you know, there's certain place I know I'm going to stop. All right. Is that you guys? Oh, you know what? I'm not even going to ask that. I'm delivering a package. Oh, the closer to the door is better. That's why I keep getting 99. That was not good. That's why I keep getting 99, bro. All right, we got to back up. And one thing about this, um, the only difference that I saw, like I didn't, I didn't mind 
working for FedEx, but I remember you were UPS. You had to learn how to drive a stick shift properly and stuff like that, which was pretty cool too, especially going up hills, downhill, and all that stuff, bro. But the, you know, the crazy part was I applied for UPS for so long until like I finally settled for FedEx. And not even the job that I wanted though, because it was like FedEx home delivery. I mean, shoot, you could get fired anytime, bro. I mean, just like UPS, but at least you know you had like so much when it comes to UPS and stuff like that. All right, let's do this. Definitely big shout out to FedEx. So, if I wanted to stay in FedEx, I got to I had to make sure like I get FedEx. I'm um, either FedEx Express or Ground. Just like we're doing right now. Let's go. She wanted me. Oh shoot. I, I had to do it closer to the door. Oh shoot, bro. They shoot. Yo, look at these people. They didn't even move. Like they used to it. They used to it. Bro, so how many yo, how do you know when your job? I guess it's when the clock. Yo, they shooting down there, bro. They shooting. Hey man, I'm just trying to do my job, man. Oh, believe it or not, things like that do used to happen in Coney Island. Like, bro, I remember I had to go inside a building, right? And I'm guessing they was doing a raid. So I had to wait. Instead of waiting, you know me. I went around, do the other delivery. But they was doing the raid the whole day, so I had to miss that delivery. I was like, nope, not doing that. You know, when uh, one apartment in the building or whatever, they won't let nobody in for a while. I'm guessing uh, around that time, I guess uh, they probably had to like either shoot or something happened with the person they was trying to get. And that was a long time ago. I can't believe it just got triggered right now as I'm, I'm driving this. Uh, when I say when it comes to story time, bro, that's what I'm saying. Like it got to happen like something close to that. But it was like one of those building in Coney Island where um I don't know if they were selling, you know, that stuff. And uh, I'm guessing they were raiding the place and uh, I couldn't get in the building. The elevator was blocked. Everything was blocked. But I was like, yo, I'm trying to do my job. You know, PD don't care, bro. SWAT was there, too. They didn't care. I was like, all right, I'm going to just skip this for the day. And I usually do. I'm like, I don't got time. And that's one thing. You can't spend too much time on one package. You got to keep it moving. It's like we're doing right now. OK, there you go. The closer to the door, the more we get. That's not bad. That's not bad. So do we deliver it till the time is over? I think we deliver till the time is over, bro. Nonstop. All right. That's my job, bro. Well, you know, one thing that I used to do, bro, we going exactly the same place. <laughs> one thing that I used to do, though, whenever I get there, if I could get there early, you know, especially if you're having a good day, I had to make sure like, yo, I'm going to be on a run. I'm going to be on a run, meaning I grab my little Charlie or whatever, start taking like a bunch of packages, run down the block. Sometimes I mean, not going to lie to you. Sometimes I realized it was smarter just staying in the truck going back and forth. But starting and st oh my goodness, bro, this block is the worst. Oh, they don't have a stop sign either. Yeah, starting and st uh, stopping that truck, bro, it was the worst. But the cool thing about that truck is it takes diesel, and uh, I'm guessing the company saves so much on gas when it comes to diesel and stuff like that. And when it was time to fill up, I mean, I would fill up maybe every two to three days or something like that, from what I remember. And it was kind of like your truck, but um, I used to love just driving my car home. So I would just come back, drop it off at the warehouse, and they usually have to wait for you at the warehouse. I remember, I remember this batch one time, man. I had to wait like really, like I, I had to get back really late. And I had no choice but to park the truck at around my house. But you are, you already know Brooklyn, ain't no parking, bro. Ain't no parking. So having a truck like that was like the worst. All right, so we got to deliver. My dude got a Ferrari. What, what you guys think he ordered, bro? He probably ordered something special. And I was on. Oh, bro. You know what just remind me of, too? Uh, the corner store cheeseburger, bro. I don't know why. That was my go to. That was my go to when it comes to this. The corner store cheeseburger, meaning I stop at the gas station. They still have like these cheeseburgers in the package. So all I had to do is use the microwave in that store and then just keep it moving, bro. Yo, those cheeseburgers saved me, bro, because um, most of the time you didn't have enough money to like buy lunch or whatever. Man, I couldn't afford like 40, 50 dollar lunch every day. 